In this video, we're going to explore working with the texture baking tool inside of 3D Coat. What it allows you to do is bake textures from one object uh, to another version of that object. For example, if I have a high poly version of this uh, terrain, I can bake all this texture information onto a lower poly version. Okay, and I do that by going to the textures menu texture baking tool and I can elect to use the same mesh that's in the scene here or uh, point to the one I want to bake to. Okay, In this case I'm going to bake to the low poly. Set the texture size accordingly and point to the maps that you want to bake out give them a name okay so I've set for the diffuse and the normal map if I am in the micro vertex mode and I want to bake out a displacement map as well what I can do is check smooth mesh because it's required for displacement maps. Also, you'll notice that I have some new options that are available just for displacement maps only. So, when I uncheck that, you'll see it change. And uh, so now let's go ahead and bake this out. And not only can it have different topology, but it also can have completely different UVs. However, the closer in shape it is, the UVs, as well as your uh, overall model, then the better the integrity will be uh, during the baking process. Also, make sure that your model doesn't have any major structural changes. Uh, the shape needs to be pretty much the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and import now the diffuse map that I just baked out. Okay, and uh, textures. I'm sorry, yeah, textures, import, and the normal map as well. Okay, and before I close here, I want to point out that you can also use the texture baking tool from within the Retopo room. Uh, in the Retopo menu, it's under Bake Textures. It's exactly the same dialog. And uh, that allows you to go back later on if you want to make some sculpting edits to your model. You can just use that to bake out your normal or displacement maps. And you can always add them. You can uh, bring as many normal maps or displacement maps as you want and blend them uh, in the paint room. So I hope that helps and thank you for watching this demonstration of the texture baking tool in 3D Coat.